Hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope everybody's doing good this morning. So I want to go ahead and talk about this story that has since gone viral. And of course, it's coming from our first favorite state, wretched ass Florida. So what's going down in Florida, you ask? What's going down is that we have an elderly woman. Um, her name is Nancy James, and basically she went to a pool party in her complex it was super loud, super out of control. There was a shit ton of kids there. And she basically went through with her dogs to tell them to turn it down, that they were disturbing the peace. And instead of these kids respecting their elders, they in turn sit there and encourage a young man to basically throw her in the pool. And you can hear the kids saying, throw her in, throw her in. And this one lone idiot decides to grab her and proceeds to throw her on the pool. But unfortunately for him and her, he ends up slipping on the ground and basically body slams her by accident. So instead of him, you know, basically getting up and apologizing and realizing that he could have broke this old woman's hip or, you know, hurt her severely, he in return decides to still drag her and throw her in the pool. This whole situation is a hot damn mess. So of course, once this went down, the story went viral. I want to go ahead and show you guys the news clips. Go ahead and check this out. I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Right now at six, caught on camera, a 68 year old woman attacked. <gasps> she was only asking for a little quiet when she became a victim. These young people are a little bit out of control. Violent video of a pool party attack that left an innocent woman in the hospital. That video is really hard to watch as she is picked up and dropped not once, but twice. And now the hunt is on for the person responsible for this pool party attack. Let's get right out to Local 10 News reporter Ian Margo live with our top story at 6. Ian. Lori Calvin, I got a chance to speak to some of the teenagers who were at that party. They said they feel bad about what happened. They didn't know who the person was who actually threw her into the water. And now police are searching for anyone with information so they can find this man in the video. Nancy Jones was just asking these kids to turn down the music. That's when a young man decided he was going to throw her into the pool, which seems like it would be a harmless prank. But he slipped and fell with her to the ground, then decided to drag her in anyway. Whatever happened just happened that day. I don't know. You know, kids got crazy a little bit. These friends were at that party and say they didn't actually see her get thrown in, but did see the aftermath. All I've seen people go to running. So like, I went out the gate, then I went back to see what happened, and I seen like she came out the pool, she was wet. <gasps> when we showed that video to neighbors, they were blown away. She's an elder. You need to show respect for your elders. That's crazy. That's a horrible, horrible thing that happened to her. Tracy Ann Simmons says Nancy was the first person she met at Players Place Down Homes, and that she can't believe someone would do something like this. Young people need to learn from this and pay attention to what they do and think about their actions before they do them. So I spoke with Nancy's friend on the phone just a little while ago. She said she did end up going to the emergency room. She was released this morning and she's tired. She's sore, but she is doing all right. If you know the person in the video, you're asked to call Broward Sheriff's Office right away. Reporting live in North Lauderdale. Ian all right, so you guys just saw that viral video and you guys also watched the news clip. So I want to let you guys know about the update here because I've been following this story very closely. So now it's being reported that that 16-year-old teenager, his name is Leon Belfour, and basically with the help of his mother, um, his mother is a former dispatcher for the city of Miami. So she basically talked her son into turning himself in, which he did, and she was there in court with him today. Um, and basically now the controversy is coming in is that Nancy and a lot of people feel like his punishment is not severe enough. The judge is basically allowing him to go to church and school and to also participate in traveling basketball for his school. So I want you guys to go ahead and check out this updated news clip. Check this out and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Throwing a woman into a pool during a party is being punished by being held on home detention. That's until his next court appearance and the woman seen thrown in the pool in that video there is upset with the judge's decision tonight. Local 10 News reporter Andrew Perez live now from North Lauderdale with reaction from both sides. Andrew. And the victim feels that the punishment so far has just kind of been a slap on the wrist. She was telling me that he basically attacked her right at the community pool. She was surrounded by hundreds of young people. I want what's just and what's right. Nancy James reacting after a judge made his decision, allowing 16 year old Leon Belford Joseph here to remain on home detention until his next court date. He can go to school and church, 
but he can also continue playing travel basketball with his team. That should not be allowed. That's, that's a privilege. I would like to see him learn a couple of lessons of life without, you know, his own pillow and comforter at night. This is when the two first met at a pool party over the weekend. That's Nancy James with her dog saying the music was too loud at her apartment complex pool. Suddenly, Joseph just grabs her. He falls, but he keeps on going, dragging her all the way to the pool. He's a good kid. It's an unfortunate situation, but I think with time, it'll, it'll pan out and you get to see the real kid for who he is. Joseph's lawyer says his client is an A and B student and that this isn't who he is. James is recovering. You see plenty of bumps and bruises. She says she feels bad for the teen's family, but says he needs to learn his lesson the hard way. Now, James says that she does appreciate that this teen's mother encouraged him to turn himself in in the first place. He's expected back in court June 5th. We're live in North Lauderdale. I'm Andrew Perez, Local 10 News. All right, so you guys just saw that news clip. And, you know, this whole situation is really unfortunate. You know, the problem is with this entire situation is that this young man, be it regardless if he's a good kid or not, you know, they're saying he's an A and B student. He's, you know, he hasn't been in any real trouble. And that's great. But good children don't allow their stupid ass friends to influence them to do something like that. You know, obviously his mother works. She's handling her business as a single mom. Um, what if somebody did that to his mother? What if somebody accidentally picked up his mother and accidentally dropped her and then still proceeded to throw her in the pool? I wonder how Leon would feel about that. You know, I don't think that he needs to be playing traveling basketball. I'm sorry, that's a privilege. And when you play sports for your school, that is a privilege. And they expect you to handle yourself in a certain manner. You can't ditch class. You have to maintain a certain GPA. So if you're acting up outside of school, why is he still allowed on the team? And being that the judge is allowing him to play, I think it's up to the school and the coach to step up and say that, no, Leon will not be allowed to play for the rest of the year. You know, maybe once this trial is over because he goes back to court on June 5th. So maybe once his court date is over and they figure out, you know, what his punishment will be, then possibly the following year he can join the basketball team. But I think at this point in time, he doesn't deserve that. You know, the whole situation is just disgusting. I was just really sad and when I see that and the sad thing that this young man doesn't realize and all these kids don't realize is that because of situations like this when videos like this go viral especially when you have black children being wild and crazy and they're basically you know assaulting this older white woman all it does is bring the racists out i've seen so many racist comments on this video it's re damn dickless you know, and is this reflective of all black children? No, because I have a teenager. He doesn't behave in this manner. But unfortunately, because of videos like this, this is how people view black children. And this is why when black teenagers get shot, you have folks, you know, always questioning the validity and asking, you know, what the victim did and never giving the victim the benefit of the doubt. And it's because of videos like this. So again, this is an elderly woman. And he's very lucky that when he dropped her, she didn't hit her head. She didn't break a hip. You know, anything could have happened to this woman. He could have potentially killed her all because he wanted to show up for his friends. And I love how a lot of the teenagers now who are there trying to act innocent and they didn't know what was going on. And everybody had their cell phone cameras. Everybody was instigating. You heard many teens in the background saying, you know, throw her in the pool. It's sad that so many kids have this mentality and they don't have respect for elderly people or older people for that fact. You know, this whole situation is disgusting. I think anybody in that video who was screaming, you know, Thor in the pool, who was instigating and encouraging their so-called friend Leon to engage in this silly ass behavior, I think they also should be arrested and charged as well. Don't just make him the scapegoat. Let's round them all up and charge them, you know, so that way they can all learn a lesson from this. Everything I saw in that video was not only re damn dickless, but it was damn disgusting. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this viral story that's once again coming from our first favorite state, Ratchet Ass Florida. Um, Do you feel like he should still be allowed to play traveling basketball? Or do you agree with me that that's a privilege? And being that he doesn't know how to carry himself outside of school, he should not be allowed to, you know, play uh, with the school. And then how do you feel about the fact that, you know, there were so many people who instigated this and who encouraged him to do this. Do you feel like they also should be arrested and that he should not be, you know, treated as the lone scapegoat? goat because there were many children involved in this situation so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces
Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.